All right, it's that time of year again. What? It's sea glass season. I'm gonna give you five tips, best tips for searching for sea glass. That video is coming up right, right now. now. Tip number one, search with your back to the sun, because then the sun rays bounce off the glass and you get a sparkle and it's easier to find. Silly YouTube tricks are for kids. Here's another tip. Wear your sunscreen. Hey, get on your sunscreen. I don't know how. Oh, okay. Here's another tip. Bring a plastic baggie so you have somewhere to put your sea glass. And cute ones help. Hence Toy Story 4. for all the dads out there, make sure you bring plenty of snacks. Bye bye, Lizzie. Hold on, Lily. What the Lily. heck? Lily, Where? over there. In the oh, ocean, maybe I'll calm it down. Okay. Oh. What about your mouth? Tip number three, avoid nice rain beaches. Because you want to find beaches that have a lot of stones on them. Also, make sure you look into the laws before you start taking any of the sea glass. Some states, some beaches, have restrictions where you can't take the sea glass off the beach. So make sure you're smart about it and you don't end up in cuffs. Hey, that's not beach, hey, that's not beach glass. What is that? It's a block of wood. A block of wood? That must be from a missing pirate ship. I'll come you think it's from a pirate ship? Make sure you look during low tide. That's right. So the difference between low tide and high tide. High tide is when the water is really high. And that's when it's washing all the beach glass up onto the sand. Low tide is when the water recedes back. And that's when you'll find some of the best sea glass. Tip number four. Moving on. Tip number five. These are my best ones so far. Um, I found the blue. So. And blues are rare. Who loves blues? I do. Here's a bonus tip. Red is the rarest of all the stuff. No! White! White! Somebody really likes her white. Stay back. Is white the rarest? No. It's the easiest. Yes, it is! It's the rarest. It's the rarest for a five-year-old. No, yes. I have feather eyes. Hi. Hi, feather eyes. Pepper. Give me good luck. And look what I found. This rock, sea glass, flying. Let's see. And so we can see. So I got this one. What I think. What is true sea glass? Because I look like sea glass. And then there's one like this, with slimes. It's my lucky day. Here's your lucky day. Kind of looks like a little bottle. Nice. Or it kind of looks like here, if you do it like this. Kind of looks like a glass plate was orange. So the number five is that um, the sequence has to be frosted like a little wood on the inside in order for it to be sequined. Hey, did you make a new friend? Yeah! Mama, do you know if you... Bye. Hey! Hey, Q! 
Well, it's cute. I, I think, think if it's about a ladybug, bad luck will come your way. Yeah, I will. Oh, it's so cute. Let's just put her down and see. Somebody can call Mama. The ladybugs. Ladybugs are good luck. So there you have it, our top five tips for when you're going out to search for sea glass. Make sure you comment down below if you've ever done it before. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. Until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Sea glass out.